Wow, good evening team and welcome to our meeting tonight. I'm excited to have all of you in this meeting today. Yes, I believe your new year is still new. And um, today is such a great day and I welcome everyone to our Superstars training. You're most welcome. It is exciting to have you. And it's so important to get to know that training is very key in our business. Training is the thing that is able to unlock your potential. So if you are training, you can be sure you're going to grow in the business. So let us all train every Tuesday as Superstar team members. We come together at 8 o'clock in our Zoom meeting and have a training whereby we share ideas and really look into how can we grow our businesses. So uh, I'm excited today to be able to take us through the training. And my name is Pieros. For those who are seeing me for the first time, uh, we are doing together with Josphat, we are we are now doing um 14 years in this opportunity. And it's been such a great time for us. It's been such a great um adventure because starting out in this business without knowing anything, and I know that is the case with many of our new people, or even if you are new on this call. The fact is. Nobody has ever taught you about this business before. So it's all about training, training, training. And therefore, I still insist that training is so important. And each one of us must be very keen to be able to make sure that they, they attend these trainings when necessary and when you qualify. So uh, this is 2024, our second um, training for the year. And... Um, this year, we really want to do a lot as a team. We want to make sure that everyone gets to achieve their goals and dreams for the year. And I believe all of us, we've already put down our goals for the year. And of course, even as you put down your goals for the year, you need to be very keen to see to it that the goals for the month, uh, each month are in place and you are really looking, um, working or taking action you know, so tonight we want to look at uh, basic training. It is a training whereby every one of us is expected to have it on our fingertips and ensure that we, 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 we take action on it. And of course, there are so many people when they join the business. You know, our business, we have uh, the basics, the daily success habits, using the products sharing the products and sharing the opportunity. Those are very important key aspects of the business. And of course, the training is also very key. But um, the main one that is going to give you actually a lot of results is sharing the opportunity with people. Because as you share the opportunity with people, making sure that they join your business, even those who don't join will end up buying your products if you're very keen in your follow-up. So the first thing when you just sign up in the business, because I know we have people who are very new in this business, they just signed up. There are also those people whom you are going to sign up as a distributor. So what is the first thing that you're supposed to do to a new person to be able to, to help them to grow their businesses? Because new people, they require to be assisted. We, we are supposed to help them to grow their businesses. So the first thing you need to do is you make what we call a list of names, okay? Making a list of names. So in the first place, have you made a list of names as a, as a distributor, as a manager, as a senior manager, as an executive manager? Do you have a list of names? How active is your list of names? How many names do you have in your list of names? Do you have a specific book? that you use for your list of names. Yes, I have mine over here that I use every day for list of my, uh, the names. Uh, and you know what, you write the list of names every, um, um, you write the list of names from your phone book and then every day you make sure you are adding to the list of names. So who is supposed to get into your list of names? Because we've said, yes, you've started the business. You need to have to work with people if you really want to grow the business. 
So who is eligible to be on your list of names? Number one is anyone who is over 18 years. It doesn't matter the age. Whether they are 18 or 81, as long as they are adults, 18 years and above, these are people who should be in your name list. I've seen people who are um, looking at 18 year olds as very young people, but in the next uh, seven years, they'll be 25, you know? In the next 10 years, they'll be 28. So you just have to put them in your name list. So list of names. So have a book and write down the list of names. So anyone who is above 18 years, why? Because everyone has a specific need. So in these people, especially when you are doing a one-on-one -on -one with people telling them about the business, because you are expected to just, you don't have to wait for a meeting in your region. You are expected to talk to them. You do a one-on-one. -on -one. So every day focus on at least talking to two people, doing a one-on-one -on -one with two people. Guess what? Your business will never be the same again. So share your new life solution depending on their needs. So if it's a young person and they really need money, show them how they can earn money. If it is a physical need, you show the person the nutritional solution that we have, the provitality story, then add the targeted solutions, you know. So show them the triangle. You remember the triangle whereby we show the physical activity and weight management, whole grains, you know, fruits and vegetables, proteins, and on top of the pyramid is the fats and sugars. That is what you need to show them, how you need to eat and how people are eating the other way around and what is our solution. Now, if it is a financial need, you need to show them the story of how you uh, get to earn the money through the business. Okay? So who are people in your list of names? These are people you wish to build the business with. And we say that you don't uh, prejudge people. There are so many people who would say, oh, this person is this, they cannot do the business. You never know. Because you know this person, when they join your business, they'll bring a sharper person even than them. So put a 10 on every, every person's head. Don't prejudge anyone. See the good in people. The greatest good you can do for another person is not just to share your riches, but to reveal to that person his or her own. So these are business of helping people, growing them. So put a 10 on every person, don't prejudge. The other thing, in the list of names, put your family members, your relatives, your friends, and everybody that you know. That is why we say the first people to appear on your list of names are people in your contact. Uh, phone contact, or those you have written somewhere in a book. Those are family, friends, relatives, you know, everybody that you know. People in your phone book, people you meet daily, social media followers, social groups and gatherings. And make sure that, yes, after you write the list that you already have, and normally we, we, we suggest that you write 400 names at the minimum. 400 names. You have 400 names. So have 400 names at the minimum and every day have a number that you have promised yourself to be adding on a daily basis. So, so when we talk about an, um, a name list, I'm going to use the acronym name, N-A-M-E-L-I-S-T. That is name list. And we say the first one is the number. What is the number? The number should at least be 400. A is added on a daily basis, add some people on a daily basis. And then try to remember, M is memory. Try to remember the people maybe you are with in school, the people you are, you are they were once your neighbors. These are very good people to come into your name. E, everyone, don't prejudge, just put everybody. Then L, learn to listen. You see, when you meet people, don't people love talking about themselves. You, you have to be a listener because in the listening, you can be able to tell the need of the person. I initiative, be the one starting even greetings. Um, yeah, so be initiative, initiate a talk. If you are in a wedding somewhere, initiate a talk with the people that you are with. So in the process, people will like you. Then seek successful people, that is the S. Always seek successful people. 
people tend to just want to invite or prospect the people who are below them. No, you can invite people who are even more successful than you in whatever they are doing. So six successful people. Then T or the last T in the name list is talk to a lot of people. They say TTP equals BYB. That is talking to people equals building your business. So in our business, we are saying you talk to as many people as possible. Um, there's a very successful distributor in our business of New Life. And she told me that when she invites people for a meeting, she always invites over 1,000 contacts. And for sure, she, was, she has been in the top 10 sponsoring. So make sure that you are talking to as many people as possible. Then when you meet people, there is, there is always, you must always be guided by the questions that you ask. Ask people some questions, you know, gain information. In asking the questions, you gain information, you determine their needs. So it's a way of having conversation and it causes action. So what is our power question? We normally say the power question is if I, if I could show you how to, an additional income. Would you be interested in, in hearing more? If I could show you how you can uh, um, prevent lifestyle diseases, would you be interested in hearing more? So asking questions is very important. So we normally say it's, the question is if I would you, if I dash 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 would you. So if I could show you how you can earn extra income. This person is one uh, is having issues with paying school fees for their children, paying rent, food, and everything. So ask them if I could show you how you can earn an extra income. Would you be interested in hearing more? So if the answer is yes, what are you supposed to do? Ask for fifteen minutes of their time. Hello. If the answer is yes, if they say yes, I would like to hear more. Ask for some time. If the answer is no, then offer the product with the power question. If I could show you a product that will give you more energy and better health, would you be interested in hearing? So if they say no, again, even for the product, ask for a referral. At least ask them if they know anyone who needs the same. So we normally have what we call a prospect, uh, prospecting script in our team or a video. And I believe all of us on this call, we have seen the video. It's a video, a four minute video that Josphat and I uh, created so that the team, the international superstars team can be able to use when they are prospecting people. The video is, is talking on your behalf. So if they ask you, what do you do? So tell them, I'm sending you a four minute video, kindly watch it and then we can talk after that. So it's so important. As you also prospect, because it's so important to have words you see, people will ask you questions. When they ask you questions, how do you answer? So if you are introducing yourself, you say, I am a part of a dynamic organization called the International Superstars Team, whose focus is to help people to change their lifestyle. We help people to build a business whereby they can earn additional income, have an opportunity to travel the world for lifestyle, and by using high quality products, they live better. Would you be interested in hearing more about the superstars team? It would, it would only take about 15 to 20 minutes. So if the person now gives you the time, that is when you can sit down and do a presentation. So if the presentation is a one-on-one, -on -one, make sure you have ever watched somebody first doing it. Don't do it the first time on your own. So watch your sponsor, watch your upline, or anyone who, who is doing the presentation, watch your, them do one or one or on one presentation. Then you familiarize yourself with the presentation, um, with the presentation slides or how to do the presentation. Make sure you familiarize yourself and you practice it several times. You know, you can practice it with your family members, you can practice it on your own, and you develop your ID. It's very important. They say stories sell and facts tell. So you need to develop your ID, the story of your new life journey. Even if you are a week old in the business, you have used Pro Vitality. So that is your story already. You, you tell them how you felt when you used the Pro Vitality. So develop your ID. 
call your guests. If they are coming for a meeting, for example, tomorrow we have a meeting in Nairobi. If you have a guest who is coming for the meeting tomorrow, call them the day before. So like today you call them, give them direction to Biashara Street uh, Market Mansion and encourage them to bring their spouses. Hello? We have had issues where in the past, people come, they get excited, they want to join the business, it's the wife, and when they get home, the husband is the one discouraging them. So to work on that or to, 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 to alleviate that, what you need to do is when you are inviting a, a person, you can ask them to come with their partners or their spouse and friends and let them not bring children because they can they can really mess up uh, up and um, cry around and things like that so make sure when you are doing a one-on-one -on -one presentation your guest is very comfortable and they are um, they are attentive and if there is any cancellation of a meeting for example try to reschedule it immediately and if the presentation is in their home, make sure you ask for directions beforehand. Now, during a one-on-one -on -one presentation, you are expected to give your guest your ID. You start with your ID. You start with your story. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Don't talk to somebody about the business before they get to know you. Yeah? So it's very important to let them know you. Tell them a little bit about yourself, what you do, how you got involved with new life, and why you decided to start your own business. Then, if possible, share the products. Discuss the ranges of the products, a little bit about the scientific advisory board. You know, the, like for me, I remember when I joined the business because there was a one-on-one -on -one presentation in my house. I remember the, um, the person showing me the picture of the scientific advisory board members. That really blew my mind away because I discovered, oh, so these are very good products. They are scientifically researched by these people. I saw the picture of Dr. Ada first. So make sure you are able to talk about them also when you are doing a one-on-one. -on -one. And don't forget to tell them that our products are at top quality. And if you can do um, a demonstration, the better. Majorly, we say a demonstration like a home care, like LDC, is very good. Just help the person wash their hands. On Saturday in KICC, we di they did a present, I mean, a demo on LDC, and it was so simple. So you can also learn to do a demo on a home care product. It sticks more. Then share your product testimonial, what the products have done for you. And that is why the first basic of using the product is very key. Use the products to be able to share the story with someone else. There's no way you can talk about the products if you have not used them. Then when you share the opportunity, you should be very enthusiastic. You may be new, but it's so important to familiarize yourself. And even if you don't have a success story, you can share success stories of other people, carry a lifestyle magazine, have it with you. If, in case you know someone in the lifestyle magazine, just show this is my president team member in this lifestyle magazine. And I'm very sure soon I'll also be there. So you can even use stories of other people, even if you are not very successful in the business yet. So when you are doing a one-on-one -on -one presentation, don't forget the triangle, which is there the health wellness triangle and the health one and the solution of pro vitality. And if you are doing the opportunity, because some people don't want to hear so much about products, they are just focused on earning the money. Show them the, 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 the three steps to director, whereby you show them how they can become a manager by earning 500 points with their team, how they will help their team to grow to be managers so that they can be senior managers and executive managers and even how they can become a director. So please be very, you know, familiar with how you get to manager, senior manager, executive manager and director. So it's good to show all the way to director. That's the maximum, I mean, the minimum you can do. You can show Ruby and, and President and Sapphire, but most important is from distributor, how one can be able to move all the way to director. 
And you realize when someone is a director, they are earning an average of 80,000 Kenya shillings or 800, U um, uh, 800 US dollars, which is already good money for anyone who was looking for something on the side. So that is well enough. So you don't have to know how someone becomes a sapphire and rupee and the rest. So most important is just up to director. And whenever you do a one-on-one -on -one presentation, don't let the person or just finish like that. You have to ask for a decision. And if your guest um, is asking questions, make sure you, or an, they have an objection, make sure you answer to that. It's very important to satisfy your guest. Uh, so ask for a decision, ask them what they have liked. If you are teaching on health, wealth, and even lifestyle, ask them which part of the presentation did impress you more. So how are you paying? Are you paying cash or by M-Pesa or by swiping your cards? Things like that. Very important. Don't ask them what do you think. Ask them straight questions that will help them to make a decision there and there. Then. So if they want to think over it, try to find out what, why they, they want to do that. It may be an objection you can help to resolve immediately. Okay? Uh, but if a prospect says no, you should accept it graciously. Don't be hurt or anything. Accept graciously and thank them for their time and ask if they would like to try the products. If they still say no, you can ask them if they know anyone who would love to earn part-time income and also become healthy. So always ask for a decision. Very, very important. So, but if they say yes, make sure you... You are, you are always equipped with an application form like this. This is an application form. Whenever you are seeing a prospect, that is something you must always have. You should also have an, um, uh, uh, that is a, a distributor application form. You should also have an order form. In case they are joining and buying a product, you should also have a, um, a price list, both the confidential distributor price list and the retail price list. So that if they are joining and buying, you will use the confidential price list. If they are not joining, but they want to use the products, you will use the retail price list. So, and you help them to make their order. Maybe they pay by m -Pesa to just register as a member. And ask them to think about their goals and also a list of names. That can be so important. So if they have said they will pay later or they are going to think over it, make sure you do a very good follow-up within 48 hours. Assist your new distributor even to start inviting people. So when they join, assist them to start inviting people they know to the next presentation. So help them to develop a list of names Help them to sponsor um, at least three people. Help them to make their first profit. So important because I discovered in our business, the faster someone makes money, they'll, retain, they'll be retained very well in the business. The faster they sponsor, they will also be retained. And so that is why when someone immediately they join, ask them for a list of names, start approaching some people in their list of names and help these people. And it doesn't matter if you are new or old in the business. It's always good that you be ready. As long as you are a member, you are called an independent distributor of new life. So how do you craft your ID? How do you craft your story? That is the next thing I just want to tell you, uh, to talk about to all of us. Because I, as I said, facts tell and stories sell. So make sure you outline your story. And it has to be effective, not a fake one. Sometimes there are people who fake things, they talk things which are even lies, they exaggerate. And you see what? You can't fake. People will always read from just your eyes. So make sure you are always very authentic. You are sincere, you are very honest. So when you are telling your story, your story should first be under two minutes, two minutes and below. So the first thing is you talk about your background, your name, where you live, what do you do? So my name is Pia Rose. I live in Nairobi. 
I'm a teacher by profession. You can even talk about your status. I'm married and a mother of four children. If you are not married, you can leave that. You don't have to say I'm single and searching. No. Then what did he, what didn't you like? So important. Be vulnerable. What did you not like about your health, your job, or your finances? How did you feel? So if you were sick, you would say, I, I was sick, you know? I used to feel tired every morning as I woke up. Then you give the solution. How has New Life product helped you? Helped you? For example, if you used to feel very tired, you say, I used to be very tired. I, I would wake up very lazy, tired, but guess what? And when you are talking about the solution, kindly light up very well. Guess what? I came to New Life. I met this product called Provitality. Um, I met this um, business, um, I mean, this product called Provitality. I started using it. And guess what? I started being very energetic. So what are you excited about? I'm excited about the future because I know my health is guaranteed, you know? So like for me, if, actually there are only four elements when you are talking about, uh, four elements when you are talking about your story. Number one is your background, which is really about yourself. Number two, what didn't you like? What you didn't like? Number three, the solution. And always talk about how you see the future. So for example, my name is Pieros Cherotich. I am married and a mother of four young children. Um, I live in Nairobi. I'm a teacher by profession. Before this opportunity, being a teacher, I didn't like the fact that my remuneration was very low. Considering the work, Lord, that I was teaching so many lessons and very occupied, I didn't even have time for my family. But guess what? I joined New Life in 2010. And today I'm very excited because I've been able to earn part-time income. And I, my future is very bright, you know? So something like that. So talk about the background, what you didn't like, the solution and the future, very important. So that forms part of your story. And therefore, you will always be saying the story until it is automatic. Let it be very consistent and automatic, very, very important. So this is so key and very important for all of us. So that is on a one-on-one -on -one basis, tell your story. Even in a meeting, because I know when we go to meetings, we are going to ask people to stand and tell their story. Still use the same format. Background, what you didn't like, the solution, and how you see the future. Then uh, if it is a meeting whereby these people are coming to a meeting, maybe you are not the presenter, you know, uh, you are new in the business, but you have brought a guest. So there's what we call meeting conduct. How do you conduct yourself in the meeting? The first thing is make sure you are very participative. Participate. Be there, participate, introduce guests to speakers and leaders. So be very punctual so that you can be able to introduce them to the speakers. So make sure you tell your guests to be very punctual because I have seen over a long period of time, my experience is these people who come late to meetings is a real problem because they miss so much the presentation. So ensure always that your guests are right on time or even they come far early, because it's even easy. When you come early, you get to familiarize yourself. So you as a distributor, if you have invited a guest, make sure you are participating. Be on time. Dress for business, you know? Always be dressed for business. Don't one day you are dressing down. No, no, no. Dress for business. So there's the business dress code. Dressing nicely, Dressing to be able to, so that people can be attracted to you. If you find you have a guest who has dressed better than you, they normally, they look at you like you need the opportunity yourself, okay? Then always sit in front. Don't sit behind. Sit with your guest in the front. And not talking or walking during the meeting. There are so many people who make this mistake. 
talking, walking out and in, and even using cell phones. This is so, so important. And I've seen even leaders, they fall from this because they use their phones in a meeting. Turning off a cell phone is show, a show of respect even to your guest. If your guest is seeing like you're walking up, even if you are not the one who is talking, it doesn't work for you, it works against you. And then during the meeting, there is no food or drink. So if you are going for a meeting, please don't, unless it's water, but food is not allowed in meetings. So make sure that practically when your guest has joined the business, fill in application forms with them, fill in the order forms, and you can show them the, how to do orders online. Then the next thing is to ensure that your guest is attending all the events. And this is my, 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 my idea. For you as a distributor, never miss to attend an event. Events are so important. So be always going for events and make sure that you're telling your team to attend events also. So events are so important. Already we know that we have an event coming and events can be trainings, can be opportunity meetings, can be team functions like the annual superstars team meeting that we are having or annual convention that we are having on the 9th of uh, March. So make sure you are your guests, even if they have not joined the business, please mention to them when they come for these big events, like the one we had on Saturday in Nairobi, the ICC, it was wonderful. All the guests were so excited. And I can tell you, events are so important. First, they give a social proof to your guest. So invite, attend events. So you as a distributor, have you registered? Focus on making sure they are personally developed. And this can only happen if they are attending events. If they are attending events and they have also proven that many people are doing this business, it will be very easy for them to overcome rejection. Okay? So that is so important. And therefore, finally, I want to encourage all of us, let us attend our 9th of March event. This event is going to be wonderful. And um, of course, we are aware that we already have international guests. First, we have our president team members from Uganda, Janet and Miriam. I can't wait. I, I mean, Janet and Andrew Bugembe, sorry. Miriam is the mother. She's also a president team member. So Janet and Andrew Bugemba are our guest speakers and you know their story is quite uh, interesting and exciting at the same time. I can't wait to see all of you. Let us all register. Remember the last day to register is the end of this month. So register now. Next month, people will still pay 1,500 but they will not get the gift hamper. That one I can assure you. So make sure you have paid this month and let all the people that you have brought in the business pay. Because when you bring people, they say events make money. Let us all attend the event on the 9th of March. Otherwise, thank you so much. Those are some of the things I could be able to gather to teach us tonight. And I want to pass it to Josephat now. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much, Pierros. And hi, everyone. Hi, team. Good to see you there. Uh, that's exactly what you need to get to the very top. I pity those people who miss out on uh, these kind of trainings. So congratulations to everyone who uh, managed to be here with us because um, your business will never be the same again. You see, many people ask, how comes so many people join this business, but not so many succeed. The answer is right there. If you cannot equip yourself for something, how will you succeed in it? How can you be the best doctor without going for training in a medical school? So it's very critical that we keep on training. But then uh, in, as, <clears throat> in as much as we say it's uh, compulsory, I love saying, it's only compulsory for those who are very serious with the business. If uh, you are just they are not so sure whether you want to get far, uh, then don't feel guilty when you miss out uh, on training. But for peers and myself, oh my God, we never, ever 
missed a training that we have qualified. And we are not about to, because even as uh, having trained for all these years, I can assure you every meeting takes us to the next level. If it's not learning something new, then it is being inspired to be able to achieve what we want to achieve. So uh, I don't want to add much on what Piero has uh, shared with us, but uh, also find time to uh, replay the training that you've had today uh, so that you can take notes if you missed on anything. We'll be uploading it in a short while. Now, as you know, we value recognition. Um, so that is uh, where I want to take us to in the next few minutes.